hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a fish consomme so quickly a fish consomme is just a clear soup or broth that you use egg whites to clarify this is a very time consuming meal especially when it comes down to the clarifying part but first we get our bass of fish and we split it in two because we're just making one serving and we're going to slice that up and season well So to season, I used fish seasoning, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. I didn't use any salt as yet because I know that fish tend to, you know, keep in the seasoning. So I waited until it was in the pot and then I added the salt. So for the stock, I'll be using scallion, thyme, carrot, onions, garlic, and scotch bonnet pepper. I also added some dry parsley while it was cooking, you'll see further on in the video. Celery and the actual parsley roots is a good addition to this as it will bring up the flavor. And the most important part of making our fish consomme the egg, but actually the egg white. So now we're going to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. I'm gonna show you two different methods of doing it. So the first one is just pouring the yolk from shell to shell and allowing the egg white to seep into the dish below. And the other method is way easier. So here's the other method. You just pour the egg into your hand and through your fingers you allow the egg white to escape and you keep the yolk. That's the easiest way but a lot of persons don't like to do it because of the rawness of the egg. But anything you have to do to ensure that you get your egg whites. So now on to the soup soup. So I used two cups of water because as I said before is a one person meal we're making or one serving so two cups of water and then we're going to add in our fish and all our vegetables Key note for the scotch body pepper I used a fork and poke holes in it before I put it in the pot. But that's everything in the pot. This is still before the parsley was added. And yeah, we're going to let that simmer. So here's the dried parsley after I found it. 
and we're just going to add that to the pot and mix it all up So as you can see it's boiling and now we're going to add in our two egg whites with this you can add it in either when you're adding in all the vegetables or no this is five minutes after so as i said before the egg whites help to clarify the soup So as I said earlier, I added more seasoning to the pot. So I added fish seasoning, black pepper, and salt. So at this point, I was taking out the pepper because after I tasted it, the pepper did its job. You know you don't want it too spicy because that's going to take away the flavor of everything else so took out the pepper at that time so this is how the soup was looking right before a strain and this is just our first strain because it's going to go through this process for a good while. So the first strain is just to remove all the vegetables and the fish and everything else that was added and leave the soup alone. So here I was really showing you that the soup is basically clear but there's still some particles to it and it's a bit foggy so this is why we're going to add more egg and allow it to clarify. So I placed the soup back on the stove and I added two more egg whites. And after I add in the egg whites, I just leave it and let it sit and let the egg do what it does. So I ensured to add in this clip just because this is how the egg looks when it's actually working to clarify the soup. So if you see your soup looking like this, just know that the egg is clarifying the soup. So this is our second strain and I'm straining it through a hairnet to ensure that all the fine particles, um, everything from the egg is not getting into the soup itself. So as I mentioned before that this is a lengthy process, I did place the soup back on the stove and added in one more egg white to clarify it even better and then I strained again. For the last strain, I used a hairnet and a strainer. So this is my final result, I added some scallions on top and that's my clear soup. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that you'll be able to see whenever I post another video.